from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Have I ever had sex with an illegal alien? You bet. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you. care about it's a different kind of a radio talk program we're the radio talk show the days not hosted by a right wing wacker or a convicted felon no i am your host i got our telephone number you're gonna need it it's 1-800-5-800-TOM 1-800-5-800-8 Six six. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Thank you very much for being part of the program. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to do something. Every once in a while we do something on the fly here, and I'm going to do something on the fly. I'm going to ask our producer, Gary Zabransky, uh, to post this link on our website, blowmeuptom.com, and he'll get it up there. This particular uh, link is to the website of the uh, online magazine called Slate. And specifically, it is the prenuptial agreement of actor and comedian Bill Murray. It's public record. So we're going to post it for you to see, because many of you have asked me to uh, post my own prenup. And um, I'm forbidden to do that because I've agreed to confidentiality. Uh, when I have signed a prenuptial agreement. And uh, since my divorces were private, in most cases, most of the information sealed, well, the prenup is not a matter of public record, so you haven't seen it, can't see it, won't see it. Okay. And, and that's not because I'm trying to give you a hard time. I agreed to confidentiality in terms of the specific terms of the agreement. But I just want to say, for those of you who have been asking me to post my own prenup, I think you'll find the prenuptial agreement of uh, Mr. Bill Murray to be uh, equally useful. (laughs) That's all I'm going to say without revealing the details of my own prenuptial agreements. You definitely want to see this. And uh, I will read to you a little bit. A number of you have sent me this story. And uh, I'll read to you a little bit about uh, Bill Murray and his prenup. And, uh, of course, now that the prenup is public, the way this is being portrayed is that Bill Murray is some kind of selfish bastard. And in reality, I uh, need a little standing out of Mr. Murray. Good work. Good attorney. I'm liking it. Now, we do not know yet whether this prenup will stand up in court, though I tend to believe it will. But uh, let me read you the story from Slate about Bill Murray. And uh, you go to blowmeuptom.com right now. You can see the actual prenup of Bill Murray. It's there. And I'm sure he is mortified that this is public. But uh, anybody who gets married knows that unless you uh, seal it six ways from Sunday, anything you say and do in a prenup or in a divorce ends up as part of the public record. And people know how much money you're splitting up and how much uh, vagina money you're paying and how much child support you're paying. And if you're a public figure, it's all out there. And... uh, you know, you really have to think ahead and make sure that stuff is, is kept under lock and key. You have to. Uh, in my case, I really wouldn't object if you saw uh, the contents of my prenup or, or anything, but uh, the other people involved may not want you to see it, and so you don't. So I can't really tell you about the very specific specifics of my prenups. But let's talk about Bill Murray's prenup, which I'm just going to say I enjoy it very much. And I think Bill deserves a lot of credit uh, for hiring the right attorney. Let me uh, let me read to you from uh, Slate. And, of course, just by the fact that they are doing a story called Bill Murray's Prenup, and they have a link where you can see the entire prenup. Remember I told you my prenup, by the way, was 32 pages? 32 pages, right? 
People found that hard to believe that there was a 32-page prenuptial agreement. Well, uh, Bill Murray, is uh, the, the prenup is only a little longer than mine. <laughs> I don't know who his attorney is, but some of that language, I've read it before somewhere. It's very familiar. Uh, here is the uh, story from Slate.com, and uh, it's very brief, but uh, just the fact that they're publishing this, they're trying to embarrass, that, that's the reason this is being published, is to embarrass Bill Murray because he's so selfish. How can he be so selfish? How can he be so, uh, you know, and, and the reality is, if you're a guy, Bill Murray's a hero. He's a goddamn hero. I, I see the guy as a hero. Here is the uh, here is the story from Slate.com, and then we'll get into the specifics of this uh, agreement. It says here in Slate, uh, days before their 1997 wedding ceremony, comedian Bill Murray and his wife Jennifer Butler Murray entered into a, oh, it's a 26, I thought it was a 36 page, a 26 page antinuptial agreement. And it is, if you go to the Slate website, you can see the excerpts. Or if you go to blowmeuptom.com, you can see the entire goddamn agreement. It's all right there. And uh, here are some of the uh, quotes from the prenup. I won't read the whole prenup to you. You can go read it yourself and then comment on it if you want to. It says here, Jennifer is aware that Bill is a person of very substantial means and income. This doc... Oh, I'm sorry, that's that's quoting the document. It says the agreement stipulated that Murray would, quote, imagine, what a bastard, would continue to retain all right, title, and interest to all separate property he may now own or hereafter acquire. That's on page three of the agreement. It says here as a wedding present, slick one, I like that. Bill agreed to buy his bride a modest house not exceeding $1 million of her own. Quote, title taken in Jennifer's sole name, page five. In the, quote, event of marital discord, Jennifer would relinquish her rights to alimony, page four, and instead receive within 60 days of the marriage's dissolution a lump sum marital award of seven million dollars. Such legal, (laughs) seven million dollars. I think it's pretty goddamn generous. Because he had no idea at the time how long this marriage would last. He had no way of knowing. Turns out now they've been married 11 years, so $7 million is how much? It's about uh, $650,000 a year for uh, being married to Bill Murray. That's a pretty good salary for being married to Bill Murray. Isn't that nice? Not to mention, you know, having the benefits of being with a celebrity, uh, uh, the travel, the restaurants, the uh, parties you get to go to, all the things you get to do. She uh, is getting a salary of 650000 or so dollars a year for having been married to him. I think that's very, very generous of the part of uh, Bill Murray. It says here, such legal precautions the couple believed would, quote, enhance and encourage a harmonious marital relationship. And avoid any, quote, conflict or controversy in the future. But, says the story in Slate, the course of true love never did run smooth. Last week, Jennifer sued to dissolve the union in Charleston, South Carolina. She went to family court and cited Bill's, quote, this is Jennifer's allegations now in trying to overturn the prenup, so... We can only imagine whether or not these are true. She cited what she calls Bill's adultery... Addiction to marijuana and alcohol, abusive behavior, physical abuse, mm -hmm, sexual addictions, and frequent abandonment. She's asked the court to determine whether the prenup is valid. That outrages me when somebody, uh, you know, a grown adult, a grown woman signs a contract. Uh, By the way, a 26-page agreement in which both people were represented by attorneys. And then when it doesn't suit her anymore, she decides to see if she can overturn it. It's outrageous. <laughs> I mean, really, it's outrageous. So I'm looking through this here, and I'm enjoying it, mainly because I'm going down memory lane here. 
Um, I can't tell you what was in my agreement, but I really like this agreement a lot. It's all good. So um, I would like you to go, if you go to blowmeuptom.com or slate.com, you can see Bill Murray's prenuptial agreement. You have heard some of the highlights, but it goes on to talk about gifts in here, what happens to gifts that are given during the marriage. Talks about the house that Jennifer Butler Murray, that's always trouble when they decide they're going to maintain the maiden name along with your name, Uwe. Always look out for that. It talks about uh, each person knowing the other's net worth. I mean, people have asked me many times on this program, could you post your prenup? I can't post my prenup, but I can post Bill Murray's prenup because it's public record. And there it is. And I could just say that a lot of that language looks like stuff I've read before. No alimony. No community property. (laughs) Here's a little bonus of $7 million. Thank you for being married to me. I I don't know what the problem is here. I mean, this is the agreement he reached. And I know, by the way, as we've talked about prenups on the program many times, why did he agree to pay her $7 million in the event of a dissolution? As I have said, even though you can say no community property, you you still have to give something or the judge could very well say it's an unconscionable agreement. It's unfair. And then then you might have a shot at overturning it. But if you agree to give some cashola in advance of the marriage, frequently you can uh, be assured that the agreement will stand up. So those of you who want to learn about prenuptial agreements, read this one. I think it's a good one. Now we're going to find out as time goes on. We're going to find out. Uh, whether this stands up in court. That's what we're going to find out. And I hope it does, because uh, not only have I been a fan of Bill Murray's work, I'm now a fan of his attorney's work. Big fan. Loving it. And if you want to know what a prenuptial agreement looks like, maybe you've never seen one before. I think most people have never seen one before. This would be a good one to look at. Do you think there's something wrong with this agreement? Do you think there's something bad about this agreement? I think there's something wrong. I think the fact that you have to pay $7 million dollars to somebody to get rid of them is outrageous. But I know he had to do it in order to get the agreement, to, to push the agreement through and to make sure it stands up when it's all over. I know that. But um, I'm wondering, uh, look at the names of the law firms here just to see if anybody looks familiar. I'm kind of scrolling through this. Isn't this interesting? Tax returns being joint or not joint, confidentiality, Oh, boy. Well, it's not confidential anymore. I'll tell you what, Bill. It's right here in front of me. I'm looking at it. So, uh, first of all, you heard what I read from Slate, and you can go look at it at Slate.com. You, uh, you've you heard some of the excerpts from the prenuptial agreement of Bill Murray. And, of course, this article is only being published to embarrass Bill Murray and to make him look like he's evil and make him look like he's selfish, to make him look like he's uh, a terrible, terrible person and to try to uh, smear him. Like, imagine, this is what this is what Bill Murray is really like, that he would do this. Go take a look at it. Tell me if you've got a problem with this. Tell me if you've got a problem with uh, what I've told you so far. Tell me if you've got a problem with prenuptial agreements. Let's get into it. Tom, Tom, Tom like, like it. it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-86. Hey, doing the Lord's work, Father. Keep it up. It's the Tom Likey Show. 97.1 free FM. SoCal's FM talk station. It's the Tom Likey Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Bill Murray's prenup. There it is. It's online. You can read it. I've got new increased respect for Bill Murray. I love this. What do you think about this? Take a look. Take a look. Go to blowmeuptom.com. We have a link. Take a look. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, hey, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to add a little uh, two cents to this. I mean, you know, Bill Murray's a guy who's who's had a great career for a long time. I mean, he, you know, he's had a pretty obvious lifestyle. I mean, as far as with alcohol and, and marijuana stuff and stuff. So it's not like she didn't know what she was getting into. And, uh... I mean, 
To be honest, it just seems like uh, getting married nowadays to some nowadays to some women is like a job, you know. I see a guy with money, I see a guy with a future, and I stick with him until things get rough, and then I'm split, and I'm going to take my half and leave, you know. That's why I'm telling the guys, why do you need to get married? Why do you need this? This is what, this is how sausage is made. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, uh, like you said, that's that's a pretty amazing prenup. I've never heard of anything like that before as far as the conditions. And she's still trying to overturn it, and she's still trying to get more. It's like, yeah, because oh, a million-dollar house and a $7 million payment are just not enough. Yeah, yeah. Like, what? I mean, not to mention I, child support for four children. Yeah, you know, and I, if I'm if I'm a judge and I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, you know, obviously he could have given more. Obviously he has more, but should he have? I mean, if, if there is really- just because you have more doesn't mean that you should give more. Yeah, I I never understand that people say that to me all the time. I mean, you can afford it. You can afford. It. Well, the fact that I could afford something doesn't mean I should spend money on it. Yeah. You know, I, and you know, my my parents are are uh, divorced, and uh, my you know, my dad's a pretty wealthy guy, and and you know, it. it I don't want to say my mom left him just for money, but I mean that that had to be the main reason. And you know, now, you know, she got a she got a large sum of money. She got she got a few million dollars, and uh, you know, this was about ten years ago, and now she's struggling for more money. You know, so it's kind of like. Some people, some people can get it, never get enough money, and never screw enough people to get it. You know. Yep, I I agree with you on that, and I thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Here comes Anthony on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Uh, I just started listening to you a couple weeks ago. Thank you. Uh, yeah, man, I agree with everything you talk about. I'm 21 years old, and uh, now that you know, now that I think about it, marriage. Oh my God, man. You know. No way, no how. I'm not going to do it at all. Uh, Bill Murray, man, I'm sad to see another one go down, man. You know, like uh, trying to put his name through the gutter. Like, I, I don't understand why. You know, I mean, the media... Just, just because that's a it. weapon that she will use against him to get him to settle for more money. And if I, I mean, why? I mean, for what reason? I mean, he's being so generous. $7 million. I mean, who who gets that? I mean, for nothing, really. You know, I mean, for living the life. You know, I mean, she was rich for how many years? Married to a celebrity. I mean, what more can you can you pretty much want in his life? He gave you four beautiful children. He's still going to pay for his children. I mean, uh, just it just shows how, how greedy women are. You know. I mean, well, that's my opinion. I say if an adult signs an agreement, then they should not be trying to get the agreement overturned. They should live with the agreement. I completely agree. Nobody put a gun to her head to make her get married to Bill Murray. Nobody. I mean, exactly. I mean, especially if she had a lawyer present to, to pretty much advise her on what to do, to advise her that the prenup is pretty much straightforward. I mean, how is she going to just all of a sudden just change her mind about it? You can't do that, you know? Yeah. And then, and then, and to say that he was abusing alcohol and, and marijuana, I mean, she's just saying that, of course, to do the same thing the media is doing, but it's like, like my God, like, he, I mean, you said I love you to this person at one point in your life, and then all of a sudden you're just going to turn all, all that around. I mean, that's sad. That's, that's, these days, that's where so many of them end up. And that's why I tell the guys, you know, you don't need to get married. You want to have sex with somebody. You want to love somebody. Even if you insist on having kids with somebody, you do not have to give them your house. You do not have to give them vagina money. You just, you pay your child support and be done with it. Exactly. You know, I mean, and I, and, and I see it as a, the point of a prenup is just to see if this person actually loves you, actually meant those three little words. You know, I mean, uh, the, honestly, to me, a prenup is, is a test. If a woman can can agree to sign a prenup and to say that, you know, that you love me, you're going to know that I'm going to take care of you for the rest of our lives. Right. I mean, you know, I mean, then, what, I mean, then what's the problem? You know, but there it goes. You know, I mean, it's just another one going down, man. You know? I agree. Wait, when you get a chance, Anthony, take a look at the prenup because it's... <laughs> It's it's amazing. And and really for guys thinking about getting married, don't get married. But if you insist, you need to see this. You need to see this piece of work. I I think having had prenups, having been divorced, my opinion as a layman, this is very well done. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean from what from what I'm hearing right now, it seems that way. I I'm, I'm actually on my way home, so I'm going to stop by and check that out. You know, cuz I mean, I've never seen a prenup myself. And uh, now, I mean, just, you know, just, just a new experience, you know. And, uh, and as a man, I mean, just it's just saddening, man. 
You know, I mean, just it's, you can't trust any woman, I guess. You know, not even the one you marry. You know, and have children with, for God's sake. You know, and remember, she's the one who filed for divorce. <sighs> can't believe it. You know, and, and I'm seeing that even in real life. Like, uh, like I, I just heard you say. I mean, if you see a woman not change her maiden name. You know, I've actually, I'm actually seeing that right now. That's a red problem. flag right there. Oh, my God. You know, and then I have to go give him a warning. You if know, she doesn't take your name, that is a problem. Taking it as a hyphen or taking it as her maiden name becomes her middle name, not good enough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Hey, uh, it's great listening to you, Tom. Appreciate the talk. You know, thanks for all the advice, man. Love you, man. Anthony, thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Dion on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Listen, I, I hate to do it. I guess I got. I feel like I got to take this female position. Uh, look, Bill Murray uh, changes behavior, and so therefore uh, she's entitled to more money. No, she's not entitled to more he, money. He changed it from the time. It doesn't say anything in the prenuptial agreement about his behavior. Nothing. Okay. Read right, the. Well, by I, the way, just read it. I gotta read it. I'm I mean, it doesn't matter what your behavior is. You have the right to leave at any time. You don't have to stay with somebody who. If you think somebody's abusive, I say get out as soon as possible. <laughs> the fact that you were stupid enough to say for eleven years doesn't entitle you to more money. That's true, but I'm thinking that he his his behavior. You know, he, maybe he was sober a little more. I tell you what, if he's time. abusive, you should have called nine one one. You should call the police. <laughs> All right, you're you're the king. Bye bye. Thank you, Tia. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. You could see Bill Murray's prenuptial agreement. Go to our website, blowmeuptom.com. dot com. We have a link there. You can see the entire twenty six page agreement. It's right there. And those of you th stupidly thinking about getting married, this this prenup, by the way, does not excuse marriage. But if you feel like you've been locked in or you're stuck and you feel like you can't get out or for some stupid reason you're romantic and you think that marriage is going to work, at the very least, promise me you'll read this and try to get one of your own, a prenuptial agreement like Bill Murray had. Seriously. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up? Not much. I could not agree with you more, and really, I just have to, I guess, commend you for bringing this up because I take the opposite position, more of a viewpoint of men. But particularly regarding this issue, my question is about, like, overturning it. And, for example, I know somebody who got married, and it appeared to be a financial benefit to get married, not so much for love. But when the subject of a prenup came up, the response that I got was, well, it can just be overturned so easily now. And so, you know, Bill Murray's Bill Murray, and he has the money to fight it. But what about the average, you know, guy who doesn't have the money to hire some high-powered divorce attorney to fight an overturn of a prenuptial agreement? Well, I mean, water seeks its own level. You're going to be married to somebody who also doesn't have the money to pay a high-powered attorney. So you're going to have an attorney of probably approximately equal strength. Right. I mean, I'm wondering if there's just even like a consensus of men out there that believe that it's just not worth the fight and I'm just not going to get it because she can overturn it. And, you know, I... I oh, I think there are guys who believe that, uh, but but those guys shouldn't get married. No, I, I agree completely. And I believe that it should be either way. I, I It drives me nuts when I hear about women that it is. It's like the guy said earlier, like a job. Like they're right. just going to cash in. And yeah. what happens to the traditional marriage, taking the man's name, the man being the, the, the person that runs the home and sets the rules and, and says what the way it's going to be. Like I don't, I don't get this whole I, – I just don't get it. And I don't get the overturning. And I, I'm curious if that's something that happens commonly. And I'm also curious if – a prenuptial agreement is something that you can get after you've already been married, like if you've been married for five or ten years. Well, then it's not called a prenuptial or an antinuptial agreement. It's called a postnuptial agreement. And those are, you can do that. It's like, I'm, you know, I, I'm just curious about those things. And, I, and I'd be curious to hear if there's other men out there that have had prenups overturned. You know, just average guys, not Bill Murray type status guys, but just average, you know, Joes. Because I am so fearful for this person that is close to me that they're just going to be screwed. And uh, I see it happening already and it scares me to death. <laughs> I understand. Well, I love the topic and uh, I think it's a, um, you're doing a great thing. So I really appreciate it. I love listening to you. So thank you so much. Thank you.
All right, bye-bye. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How you doing, son? Not bad. Hey, what your sexy caller was talking about was all this feminism. and There's too much of it, but that's another discussion. What really stuck out to, to me was, which is what I want your listeners to pay attention to, is how nasty Bill Murray's wife is acting. When you said that, well, what stuck out was uh, the sexual addictions. This girl, this woman is his wife, dude. And of course he wants to get down crazy with his wife. He's Bill Murray. He's allowed to. But I think we're going to see a lot of that come come out as far as with this divorce. I think that's what she's going to push. What do you mean? Uh, trying to make him, like, dis- disgrace him. Sexual addictions. I mean, that can only be so many things. Such as? Uh, such as, I don't know, um, addicted to pornography, and, and it just isn't good. You know what I mean? Like, it just, or anything else. Like, I mean, use your imagination, Tom. It could be anything. I, I just think she's going to really try and disgrace him. Well, I'm hearing what you're saying. I'm listening to what you're saying. And the fact is that I don't care if any of the stuff she's alleging is true. It doesn't even matter if it is true. It has nothing to do with it. The the prenup did not promise what kind of behavior she was going to get. Uh, By the way, I'm very suspicious of all of these allegations anyway. I think she's just trying to get more money. That's what I'm saying. And she's trying to get, it's my opinion, she's trying to get more money by embarrassing Bill Murray. Exactly. That's just my point. She's really going to be nasty. I'm a huge fan of Bill Murray. If he's listening, I want him to know to just keep your eye on the fruit. Take me out, Tom. I'm taking you out, baby. From Hollywood, it's Tom Likas at 1 800 5800. Tom, that's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Here we are. Yo and me, Bill Murray. His wife has filed for divorce. She wants to overturn his prenup. Our prenup. His prenup. I'm calling it our prenup because it looks a lot like a prenup I've seen in the past. (laughs) You can see it on our website, blowmeuptom.com. The link is there. Go look at all 26 pages of Bill Murray's prenuptial agreement. Sorry, Bill. I know it's embarrassing. I know it's mortifying, but... We're doing it for a reason. I salute Bill Murray. I salute his attorneys. I'm a big fan. Big fan. Bigger fan now. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Adria on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm good. I was just calling in. I've never called in before, but um, my children listen to you. My husband turned me on to you and turned my kids on. I have a 14-year-old and, I'm sorry, a 13-year-old and a Uh 15-year-old. And I am so happy you guys came along because this whole prenup thing, it's just disgusting to me. She agreed to get that money up front. If they got divorced, she's getting divorced. She has no business trying to go after more money after that man. This is one of the reasons that people like me don't take women seriously. Here's an adult woman with an attorney of sound mind, presumably, who signed a contract without a gun to her head. And had her attorney review it. Right. So she has no business trying to overturn this judgment. It's very disgusting. I mean, I don't have a prenup personally, and I was sole support of my family for quite a long time. But I did not take my husband's name, and that's really why I called in because, I mean, I didn't take my husband's name. I'm not fat. I'm not ugly. <laughs> you know? But I just simply didn't take it because we were together for, what, 18 years, and we've only been married for four years. And we do have two kids, but, you know, that's how we decided to go along. Well, you're going to do whatever you have to do. I see that as a red flag. Well, you know, it could be a red flag, but I love my husband very much. But Why'd you marry him? um, (laughs) At the time, we needed insurance. for. There we go. So it has nothing to do with love. It's money. Okay, I love him, though. (laughs) Well, but you loved him without being married to him. You did not need to get married. And sure enough, it's all about money, which is what marriage is all about. You know what? I am the one who wanted to get married. But it's not really about money because, honestly, I made more money at the time. No, no, I'm not saying that you're getting money out of him, but it's a a money issue. Yes, it is. You're right. 
you know, because... It is not romantic. It is not Cinderella. It is not uh, Sleeping Beauty. Uh, You needed insurance, and so you got married. Um, well, I had insurance. I needed my husband. To All get right. Insurance. He needed insurance. <laughs> Point is, it's money. You would okay. have had, to, the two of you would have had to pay for insurance if you didn't get married. No, okay, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you okay. saved money by getting married. Yes, we did. We did. And it worked out for us. You know, like I said, I'm, you know, we've been together for 18 years. So. And let me guess, now that you're married, he makes more money than you do. Wrong. You still make more than he does? Yes. He must be good in the sack. <laughs> you know what? It's also the fact, I mean, I've known the man for 18 years. Why Why have to do it all over? And no, he didn't necessarily want to be married. I mean, he was. I'm the one who probably pushed the issue more. But we got married and probably just... Because you didn't want to pay for insurance. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, it costs more if we're paying separate policies. It's cheaper to go ahead and get married. There we go. Well, that's a true love story there. I mean, but honestly, maybe you're right when other women don't take their husband's last name. But I, you know, I didn't take it because I, had, I was already established as an escrow officer. So... There was no point in me changing my name at that point. Well, an escrow officer is hardly uh, a politician or a famous actress. No, and I, like I said, I'm escrow not- officers get married all the time. Yes, you're right. I'm not. I mean, I'm not at their caliber, but I'm just disgusted with the woman trying to go after and get more money when she's already agreed seven million dollars. I would have walked away more than half and a million dollar house. <laughs> yes, and a million dollar house, so eight million dollars. And I mean, no and and she has this. four children with Bill Murray. Can you imagine how much child support she's entitled to? You know what? She's being greedy. She really is. Um, I hope they don't overthrow the decision because she's going to get paid regardless. I mean, uh, and who is she? Is she anybody? Bill Murray's wife. That's it. Oh, that's it. Okay, That's yeah. Right. I'm going to say she's very greedy and she needs to take what he was willing to give her in the first place and move on. Yeah, nobody put a gun to her head and said you have to get married to Bill Murray. No, and she was fortunate to be able to marry him. That's right. So, um, that's how I feel, but I wanted to thank you very much for letting my children get to know you. They do call you dad. They I love, love that. They listen to you. <laughs> my my 15-year-old refuses to have a girlfriend. He likes to just have girlfriends, friend girls. So he's... Friends really, with benefits. Well, I hope not yet. I know you, you hope not yet, dear, but this is the 21st century. <laughs> yeah, you're right, but I hope not yet. <laughs> you, why don't you get onto MySpace and see what's really going on out there? <laughs> I know. I try to stay off it. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not unrealistic, but, you know, I let my son know, keep the condoms. He tells me that he listens to you. Don't worry about it, Mom. And so I support... You 100%, and I love you very much. Thank you very much, Adria. I appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Jen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, I wanted to get your take on something. Um, I am married for eight years. I signed a prenup. My husband is an attorney. He drafted the prenup and had his law school buddy over two nights before the wedding. I just was wondering if you think that that should be upheld. Do I think it should be up? Why did you sign it? I'm sorry? Why did you sign it? Um, I, you know, it was sprung, you know, very short notice. I had family traveling across the country. Um, I was, uh, we moved across the country and I was sort of pressured, but yes, I was an adult and yes, I did sign it. Um, but the prenup states, you know, that um, it's very unfair. I, I signed everything away, every single thing, you know, in it for the long run. Just like you say, you know, um, 
you always knocking women, you know, if, if you, you know, if you want to get married, sign a prenup, never have a problem, never look back. But when I first came out here, I turned on to you and, you know, I listened to you, I signed the prenup and I'm kicking myself in the butt now because I'm really in a bind. And I How are you in a bind? Know. Are you trying to get a divorce? I tell you, you're in a bind because you want a divorce? Yes. And why do you want a divorce? Um, it, it's a complicated situation, but... Boil it um, down. <sighs> Is he screwing around? No, he's Are not you screwing, screwing around? No, I'm Does not Does he beat around. you? It, no, um, he's just very controlling. Um, I, I just don't want to live the, my life the way that it's gone for the past eight years. Well, why did you wait around eight years to decide this? Because, you know what, I, I was in it for the long haul, and I thought that this was going to work. Why would you assume things would ever get better? Because I'm an idiot. Okay, I'll buy that. Okay. Uh, the bottom line is, you, you know, obviously you have to consult with an attorney about that question. I will say that in recent years here in California, uh, the ability of these agreements to stand up has strengthened. If I recall correctly, we had an interview with the attorney for Barry Bonds. I'm not talking yes. about his steroids yes. attorney. We had his divorce attorney. Yes. And if I recall correctly, they were involved in a change uh, or one of these decisions in California law okay. uh, regarding his prenuptial agreement. And if I recall the facts correctly, and I'm sure if I don't, uh, this gentleman will call and correct me, I'm sure. Uh, if I recall correctly, Barry Bonds presented his fiance with a prenup the night before the wedding. Yes. In what I believe was someplace like Las Vegas. And she signed it and then later tried to overturn it. And it was appealed or whatever. And it turned out that it stood up. Yes, I know. And they passed a law on that. Which I saw as good news as a man. I saw that as good news. It, you know, I don't disagree with that, but, um, uh, you know, I could be wrong on this, but I believe they passed a law named after Barry Bonds on that. Right. You know, that, that states you have to sign it, you know, at least seven days in advance or something like that. I don't, uh, that's why you need an attorney. What right. is your take, though, as Tom Likas? My take is you're an adult. You did not have to get married. You could have said no. And by the way, you have uh, just, that's about the same amount of time you have to decide whether or not you want to uh, live up to the agreement to buy a car. The amount of time you had to agree to the prenup. Okay. Uh, that's a big purchase decision. True. Right? So uh, you're an adult, and you had every right to say no. But you didn't. That's true. So as Tom like is, that's my opinion. Uh, but you know, try as a dispassionate observer, you need to see an attorney to find out what your rights are. Okay, uh, and you might have you might have the right to somehow overturn that agreement or to shake more money out of the guy. But uh, I um, say I say don't marry people you think are unreasonable. And after you've married them, if they are abusive or controlling, get out. Don't stay around for eight years and say now I deserve compensation for tolerating it for eight years. Right, but Tom, as a you know, as a, a faithful listener to you, I, am I one of those greedy bitches if I try to you know? Um, well, I don't know. I, I don't understand. First of all, I I don't understand why you need to find it. Do you have a job? No. Do you have a brain? Yeah, uh, half a one. Do you have an education? No. Why not? It, I was young. You were young. It's a difficult situation, but that's irrelevant. And it's not a difficult situation. You, you, What are you doing? Falling in love with a guy and moving 3,000 miles and getting married to him after he throws a prenup at you a couple of days before the wedding? What are you doing? Oh, I'm a, I'm a woman. What do you want? Uh, there you go. And that's, my, that's the point I'm making on this program just about every single day. Good luck, Jen. See an attorney. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com.